Psalm 81 verse 1 to 11 Through the Bible Psalm 81 Theme A Song of Deliverance This psalm, like so many of the others, is linked to the one that preceded it. In other words, we have a continuous story. The prayer in the preceding psalm was not a prayer for Christians. It is for the time of Jacob's trouble at the end of the age. The great prayer for us today is, Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Revelation 22 verse 20 And in the meantime we're to ask him to help us get out his word. It is a song of deliverance. It begins on a high note. It is a soprano solo. It is inscribed, To the chief musician upon Giddeth, a psalm of Azaph. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm, and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed, on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. Psalm 81 verse 1 to 4. I think the key to this passage is in the blowing of the trumpet at the new moon. This is all very proper because the new moon appears before the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in His wings. He is coming to deliver them. It is a beautiful picture of the Feast of Tabernacles. Israel had four feasts that came at the beginning of the year. The Passover, the Feast of Pentecost, the Feast of First Fruits, and then the Feast of Tabernacles. This psalm sounds like the Feast of Tabernacles, also called the Feast of Trumpets. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. It was a great day. And its fulfillment is still in the future. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. Psalm 81 verses 8 and 9 The Lord reminds them of the past. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Psalm 81 verse 10 This is a promise to Israel, and we should leave it that way, but there is a spiritual lesson for us in this verse. God did not lead me out of Egypt, but he did save me out of sin which is the Egypt of this world. Now God says, Open wide your mouth, McGee, and I will fill it with spiritual blessings. And he has done just that. God has been good to me. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. Psalm 81 verse 11 In other words, Israel would have none of me. They still have not turned to God. There is not much difference between the Israel side and the Arab side, as far as their relationship to God goes, and there is not much difference between that land and the United States. In fact, I think the United States is in the worst spiritual condition, yet we are telling the world how things ought to be done. Because of our own failure, I believe our nation should be in sackcloth and ashes. As a people, as individuals, we need to turn to God. 